the highest energy density non-solid state batteries in the world right now are getting around 360 watts per kilogram, which is almost enough or pretty much enough for an electric aircraft or an electric jet. However, I mean, whilst that's amazing and it's going to extend battery life, for example, there are now EVs with those batteries getting 1,000 kilometers of range. 1,000 kilometers, that's, that's insane, right? And they do exist today. But there is a new solid state battery that apparently is nearly production ready. And it has the highest energy density of any battery we've seen in the world ever. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Chinese solid state battery company called Talent New Energy has unveiled their solid state battery. It's not a semi-solid state battery. You might have heard of NEO's semi-solid state battery. Well, that only has around 360 watts per kilogram, which when I say only, it's still impressive. But this solid state battery has twice the energy density at 720 watts per kilogram. Meaning if you put, say, a 100 kilowatt size battery in an, in an EV, say the Tesla, say the size of a Tesla Model 3, you'd probably get around 1,000 miles of range, approximately. That's not exaggerating. That'd be a, an approximate number, around 1,600 kilometers of range. With this kind of energy density, though, you would only need a really, really small battery. No one needs a battery pack that big. There wouldn't be, it wouldn't make any sense, right? So if you put a 50 kilowatt size battery in a Tesla Model 3 with this kind of energy density, 720 watts per kilo, then you'd be looking at a range of maybe about 800 kilometers from a 50 kilowatt size battery. That's smaller than the battery pack that's in a Tesla today. So you're looking over 500 miles of range. I think, I think that would be unbelievable. But the point is here, it is going to happen. Now for all the, um, the fans of internal combustion, all the fans of Toyota and all their bluster about EVs never being popular, Toyota say that EVs will never be more than 30% of all car sales worldwide. You have to take into consideration what is likely to happen. It's very likely there will be uh, many, many cars being produced probably 10 years from now with these kinds of batteries in them, with 720 watts per kilo or more than that, possibly even 800 watts per kilo. At that point, a pickup truck could easily get 1,000 miles of range with a decent sized battery in that, in that pickup truck. It would not be any advantage whatsoever. There would only be a disadvantage to having a diesel or gasoline powered pickup truck. At that point in time, even the dumbest, most redneck pickup driver who absolutely hates EVs would have to concede the fact that he's an absolute moron to continue buying internal combustion. And I think that's the future we're looking at for electric cars. Talent has successfully developed the world's first automotive grade all solid state lithium metal battery. It has a single cell capacity of 120 amp hours and a real world energy density of 720 watts per kilogram, said the company yesterday. CNF Post said that this sets a new industry record for single cell capacity and the highest ever energy density found for lithium batteries. We're going to get artificial intelligence very soon, being able to work out better versions of similar batteries, which are going to exceed this number. And that's what makes this really intriguing. For comparison, NEO's 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery pack uses cells from Beijing company We Lion new energy technology, but that's a semi-solid state battery. It's not a full solid state battery. It has 360 watts per kilo, and that gives the vehicle 1,000 kilometers of range. But because it's so heavy, it's not really all that efficient. Talon's all solid state battery has twice the energy density of that battery in uh, that's coming soon to NEO vehicles. That means, well, this is what CNF Post says, it would give a range of 2,000 kilometers, 2,000 kilometers. I mean, we're looking at probably 1,300 miles of range from a, a large battery pack this size. Now, I don't think that makes any sense. And I can't see anyone ever doing that. It's just like, why, why would you bother? I mean, you've got to pee, right? You've got to go to the toilet. Unless you're going to carry a, a bottle in your car and you're going to be, I don't know, maybe sniffing some Coke or something, you just couldn't stay awake to drive for more than, you know, 1,500 kilometers. It would be insane. So I, I can't really see the logic behind that. But the point is, it's possible. 
it can be done. Talent said it has made breakthroughs in a number of key technologies for all solid state lithium batteries, including ultra thin, dense composite oxide solid state electrolytes, high capacity cathode and anode materials, and an integrated solid state battery molding process. So this is not just, this company hasn't just come out with a cell and said, hey, look at this amazing cell we've made. They're actually looking at the full battery system here. The newly announced batteries positive electrode uses high capacity long cycle lithium rich manganese based materials which the negative electrode uses a composite while the negative electrode uses a composite lithium metal based material that is ultra wide ultra thin and combines high cycle stability and high multiplicity according to the company talent has improved the migration of charged particles inside the positive electrode by constructing an efficient ion and electron transport network. The company's in-house developed flexible layer materials have also helped realize an improvement in the comprehensive performance of the battery, which is expected to fundamentally solve range and anxiety issues of traditional lithium ion batteries. Now, I personally don't think there are actually uh, any range in um, anxiety issues at all, charging issues, yeah, maybe, but realistically, there's not. And the reason I say this is because the mass-produced batteries we're about to see from CATL, they're going to be manufactured by General Motors in their um, factory in the US, by Ford, by Tesla. They're going to be mass-producing these battery packs. They're going to be using the Shenzhen LFP battery. And that battery can charge, we've seen it now, in the real world, doing it on an actual charger in an EV at speeds of 550 kilowatt. 550 kilowatt. I mean, you can literally charge the battery pack from 10 to 80% in uh, 11 minutes in the real world. In addition, those batteries have much higher energy density than previous lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now, I think that battery in and of itself is enough to completely solve any range anxiety issues. Charging speed is incredible. The range is improved. Uh, the range in cold weather doesn't go down in these new LFP batteries, these new lithium ion phosphate batteries. So I think that's the solution in and of itself because that, that battery is gonna be mass produced not only in China, but also in the United States and eventually in Europe. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're gonna see better versions of that same battery come out in a year. And then two years, we're gonna see another better version and then another better version. And energy density will continue to go up. Charging speeds will continue to rise. Talent has developed solid state electrolytes and solid state lithium batteries based on the oxide system, they say, and has completed its technology pipeline in a variety of materials and semi-solid state and solid state batteries. In the company's first generation semi-solid state batteries, they, they found they got to a maximum energy density of 400 watts per kilo. Second generation quasi solid state batteries, they hit 500 watts per kilo. Um, these first and second generation batteries still have liquid electrolytes though. The third generation all solid state battery is, well, it's no longer, basically it's no longer flammable because it doesn't have liquid electrolytes. It's a, it's a full solid state battery. So the company have really, um, learned as they've gone through the process. They've built one battery, semi-solid state, and gotten to this level, and then they've gotten to a higher level. And now they've gotten to this point where they've made what is probably the holy grail of batteries with energy density that would mean helicopters and um, jets and commercial airliners would, well, they would all be commercially viable. Not only would these batteries be not flammable, but they'd allow now, that allow flights from Los Angeles to Sydney, long haul flights to be economically completely logical and completely feasible. We're now at that point, and it's a really interesting point in the evolution of electric battery technology. Thank you for watching.